Kihei, you were able to get downhill and get to the rim a lot today. Was that uh, in part because you had guys like Braxton going with you? I saw Mamadi crashing the boards as well. Did that open up a little bit of a lane so that the shot blocker wasn't quite on you? Yeah, um, in the past games, I mean, when I'm coming off a pick and roll, I usually got a lob or a bounce pass to Mamadi. So I feel like they were really keying in in the big guys, and I just saw Lane, so I just take advantage. I mean, scoring is an option, but I just take it what the defense gives me. David and then Jeff. Braxton, Tony said you were with a splint today, which was different than previously. How, how less cumbersome was it, and did that allow you to play even freer? Yeah, I felt really comfortable today. Um, it's a lot lighter. Um, I can have more access to my palm, so catching the ball, shooting feels a lot better. Um, with the cast, it feels like a little space right here where it just was like kind of like a ball. So it's it just catching and stuff was just layups. Everything was difficult with my left. Uh, today, I felt a lot more comfortable, less padding, less tape. Uh, it felt great. Chase, growing up in Norfolk, did you have maybe more of an appreciation of the Tech UVA rivalry than? some of your teammates from out of state or out of the country? Uh, I say a little bit. Uh, that being my mom being a alma mater, uh, I just kind of grew up around liking UVA more than Tech. And uh, I ended up here. So I guess I'm part of that tradition. Go Hoos. Uh, Kihei, I think it's the fourth consecutive game. You guys have shot over 40% from the floor. Do you feel like the offense is sort of finally hitting its stride? Um, yeah, uh, guys, are, guys are making shots. Um, so it feels good. I think guys are in rhythm. Um, but yeah, we put in the work, so uh, we're just going to continue to play. Even if we don't make shots, we're just going to continue to work the offense. But um, yeah, it feels good right now. Key, Tony had mentioned when you had those 17 turnovers in two games that he thought you were penetrating too deep. Um, and he said they, you guys tried to space the floor a little bit more, so you had a little bit more room today. Is is that kind of where it came from, or how much more aggressive were you looking for your shot? Um, I think it was just partly me. Um, a lot of self, uh, like turnovers, just not being ball strong and stuff like that. So I think that part was on me. And today, I mean, I was just taking what the defense was giving me. Um, Braxton and Mommy did a good job sealing guys, ducking in on the post. So I'm um, just taking advantage of that and just looking to score. Hey, Kihei, how much better are you guys when Braxton is? mostly healthy? Um, I mean, it goes to show you this past couple games. Um, we really need him. He just brings a level of toughness, shot-making ability, rebounds. He's just all-around player for us, and we just really need him to be on the top of his game. Um, but that's everybody. Everybody has to be on top of their game. We don't have a large margin of error. So, um, But yeah, we're really, we play really well when he's at, at his best. Braxton, Landers Nolly for them had a big first half. And Coach Bennett said it was really your improved defense in the second half. Also, maybe less help situations. What did you see that changed in the second half? Um, really just team defense. I thought for in the first half, he got a lot of, I mean, some of them were contested and some looks weren't. So we know he's a capable player. He can score the ball really well. Sam was being, uh, uh, was being him the whole, this whole week of practice. So um, guys were stopping penetration a little bit. and. Um, I was just able to contest a few more of his shots, trying to make it a little bit more difficult for him. Yeah, Braxton, obviously you came here from Alabama, but you played at Oak Hill, and you have relatives throughout the uh, the, air, the Virginia, Virginia area. What does the rivalry mean to you? Did it mean anything more than some of these other games? Uh, every game is a big game, especially when you hit ACC play. Um, obviously, we want to beat Virginia Tech. I mean, we know they're our rival. Um, they want to beat us also. so. We don't want to let that happen, obviously, but every game is a big game when you get to ACCC. So. Jeff, and then. Key, a final play or final Virginia play of the first half ended up with that Cody dunk. Was that – you were the inbounds guy. Was that always the way that play was designed to go, or did Jay have other options? Um, we got a lot of options off of, off of that particular play, but that was the read that we were going to go to. Um, so, yeah, Jay dribbled, and Cody sold the fake and went back door. Um, that was just a call that we made. Uh, in the huddle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great momentum going into half. I mean, great pass by Jay. Um, but yeah, gave us a little momentum going into half. But we knew in the second half we kind of struggled these past couple games. So just trying to come out of the half ready to go. Chase, there was a five second call and a, or 
and violation and the 10 second violation. How much does that stuff, obviously, as a defensive team, but how much does that amp you up either while you're playing or on the sidelines before you come in? Um, I think it, it like puts a lot of energy on the bench and in the guys that are playing and in the coaches because we're supposed to be a defensive team and getting stops like that is just, is just fame. It, 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 it gets, <laughs> Good, love. take your time. <laughs> Just, you know, getting stuff like that, it just brings a lot of energy out of people, especially for the fans and stuff like that. How do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.